traders are digesting US inflation data. According to the report issued yesterday, the CPI growth pace is still above the target of 2%. However, investors have different views on the possible changes in the key interest rate. That's why the US dollar is still trading near the levels recorded early this week. In our video review, we will find out what events will shape traders' sentiment early next week. Once again, the flow of important macroeconomic data will start on Tuesday. On a Monday, investors will gain strength for active trading. Japan will open the trading week with the publication of its GDP data. It's obvious that the country's economy will not slide into recession. The fact is that businesses continue to develop amid a low interest rate. In the second quarter, the economy may expand by 0.8%. Since the latest reports showed better than expected figures, it's quite possible that the economic growth will be even bigger. This, in turn, will boost the Japanese yen. Also, on Tuesday, investors will continue getting information about the future of the global economy. Thus, data on the Chinese industrial production may drop some hints. The indicator is likely to display a moderate change. The growth pace may accelerate to 4.5% from a 4.4% on a yearly basis. This will reflect rather sluggish global demand. Against this backdrop, the Australian dollar may show a slightly noticeable rise. After that, investors will shift their attention to the situation in Europe. The news flow is expected to be rich. First of all, traders will pay attention to the UK labor market. Recently, data from the United Kingdom has been exceeding forecast despite high interest rates and inflation. However, there are some doubts about the accuracy of the published figures. Nevertheless, analysts suppose that in July the number of unemployed claims will decline. When assessing the economic situation in Europe, traders often focus on Germany as the main eurozone economy. According to the survey carried out by the ZEF Institute, Germany's economic sentiment is approaching its low. Thus, in August, the indicator reached its lowest level since December 2022. Investors continue to anticipate further worsening by the end of the year and expectations of a higher interest rates in both the Eurozone and the United States. According to the forecast, the economic sentiment indicator may inch up to minus 14.4 points from a minus 14.7 points. However, this will hardly support the euro. Also, on a Tuesday, all eyes will be turned to the US retail sales figures. For your reference, consumer spending accounts for about 70% of America's gross domestic product. Meanwhile, retail sales reflect consumer activity. In July, economists expect a rise of 0.4%. It's difficult to predict traders' reaction. However, signs of a stable economy provide the Federal Reserve with more room for maneuver in terms of combating inflation. In other words, the US central bank may raise the benchmark rate once more. In the event of this, demand for the greenback will rise. At the same time, Canada will issue its inflation figures, and this information will force traders to make a choice. It's hard to decide which asset will bring a bigger profit – the US dollar or a Canadian one. The fact is that the expected inflation growth to 3% per annum may force the Bank of Canada to raise the key rate. On a Wednesday, traders of the pound sterling will also become very active. Although UK inflation is a slackening, its current level is still very high. If optimistic forecasts play out, inflation will slacken to 6.8%, which is still very far from the 2% target. Nevertheless, investors may have some doubts about the further key rate hike by the Bank of England. We will monitor the market reaction to the above-mentioned reports, subscribe to our channel and follow changes in the market sentiment.
with us. Any comments, questions and offers are welcomed. We wish you profitable trading and see you soon.